What's up guys and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! character profile. This week we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and we're doing Bruno. So in the English version he's known as Bruno, in the Japanese he's known as Johnny, he's what he was born as, or he's also known as Antonomi. His age? Not quite sure, probably around Yusei's age, maybe. His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, episode 73, Synchro Straits. And here is his dual score. So, quick gist on the character, Antonomi was a man from an apocalyptic future who, following his death, was recreated as an android avatar by Zone. Antonomi was sent to the present where he guided Yusei to learn Excel Synchro before eventually suffering amnesia during an accident and befriends Yusei in T5Ds under a new amnesiac guise as Bruno. As per his mission, he was created for the sake of guiding Yusei Fudo to learn Excel Synchro without knowing the actual reason behind it. He is one of the few left-handed duelists and as such has his wrist dealer and deck on his right arm. When human, he was right-handed though and had them on his left arm. Strange. He was the only member of Team 5Ds who never became a signer. And to know me literally means the mutual incompatibility, real or apparent, of two laws, mirroring the conflict between being both Yusei and Zone's friend. While in his Antonomi attire in the present day events, he has also been referred to as Visor in the English version and the mysterious D Wheeler, or Dark Glass in the Japanese version. In some English video games, his full name is given as Bruno Borelli. So, Bruno's attire consists of a white and blue coloured jacket with a yellow trim and front pockets that carries most of his tools, a blue t-shirt with a large white stripe placed horizontally. He has unkempt blue hair and his eyes are indigo. As a member of Team 5Ds, he wears a red and black jacket and a cap sporting the team logo. As Antonomi, his hair is flared with a deeper shade of blue. He wears a cobalt uniform outlined in yellow highlights. He wields an indigo coloured wrist dealer on his left arm and wears a matching helmet with deep red sunglasses. In his amnesiac state, Bruno is friendly and sociable, easily making friends with Team 5Ds. His kind and bumbling demeanour often gets him in trouble at times, making him pacifist and easily apologetic. He was anxious to learn about his past life before he had undergone amnesia, and when he works on dual runners and duels, he feels like they might help him remember. As Antonomi, he retrains a calm and stoic demeanour in his duels clearly as he tests Yusei to exceed his limitations. As opposed to his mild-mannered self as Bruno, Antonomi is cold and pragmatic, especially in regards to his mission he was given by Zone. However, after being defeated by Yusei, he revealed that he truly believed in Yusei and defeated him for the purpose of teaching him the Delta Excel in the hopes he could save Zone. Shortly before his death, he solemnly thought that he truly enjoyed being around Yusei and his friends. Cementing his friendship with them was real. Bruno's last body was that of an android, capable of many organic body activities, including eating. Although he usually appeared to have only a normal level of physical prowess, he had an active state, wherein his eyes would glow red and would gain tremendous strength, agility and reflexes. He could also call for his dual runner, Delta Eagle, with a special signal emitted from his eyes. He could also shift his voice and clothing with green code, similar to Primo's red code. As a former professional turbo duelist from his time, he possessed skills in computing and mechanics. So, a bit of backstory on the character. In the future, he was born as Johnny, a professional turbo duelist and member of Team Delta, who relied on synchro summoning to win. However, after winning a tournament, his manager informed him that he was no longer allowed to synchro summon as it had been outlawed. Johnny protested that the legendary duelist Yusei Fudo used synchro monsters and countless people got hope from him. However, they were interrupted as a crew member informed them that the main network was going berserk as a result of the entity's interaction with synchro summoning. Shortly after hearing this, the Mech Lord Emperors arrived and brought about the destruction of the city. With the city almost completely wiped out by the invasion, Johnny was left wandering after the city's ruin alone and wondered if synchro summoning really brought about its destruction. A mech lord emperor, Granel, then appeared before him and held a cannon to his face. Ready to accept his fate, Johnny was saved by Zone under the appearance of Yusei Fudo, who had destroyed the mech lord emperor. 
Johnny having adopted the codename Antonomi, along with Zone, Paradox, and Aporia, became the last surviving humans in a desolate world. The four of them believed it to be their mission to create a better future. They tried to dispose of the core power of Enter D, which wiped out the world before, and performed countless experiments to try and find a solution to restore the world to the way it once was. However, he and Paradox were eventually placed inside capsules as they reached the end of their lives. Before dying, Zone said that he was going to need Antonomi's strength to save the world. Antonomi was confident that the day would come when the world would be saved, so to ensure this, he asked that he be put to work as Zone's servant. After Antonomi died, Zone resurrected him as an android in the past, where he was given the mission to teach Yusei Fudo, Axel Synchro, an aid in his growth, not knowing the part he would play in the near future. Antonomi uses a TG deck focused on synchro summoning tactics, using cards such as TG Striker and TG Cyber Magician to easily synchro summon. As his strategies focus on synchro summoning but require a large amount of cards, he uses TG Hyper Librarian to replenish his hand. Antonomi mainly focuses on Excel synchro summoning his TG Blade Blaster, therefore devotes the majority of his cards to acquiring the necessary monsters through cards such as Double Type Rescue, if he doesn't manage to synchro summon them together. And with that guys, that is another episode if you get your character profiles done, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to give it a like, favorite, and subscribe. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching.